Abortion was one of the hot button issues discussed at last night's debate. Let's take a look. And I promise you, as president of the United States, the American people will have a champion for life in the Oval Office. What I would love is for someone to ask Biden and Kamala Harris, are they for 38 weeks? Are they for 39 weeks? Are they for 40 weeks? Because that's what the media needs to be asked. We're better than what the Democrats are selling. We are not going to allow abortion all the way up till birth, and we will hold them accountable for their extremism. Former Biden press secretary Jen Psaki defended Democrats and then fired back. She posted this on social media. No one supports abortion up until birth. Well, if that's true, then why didn't she just come out and say that when she was asked about it last year? The president's position on choice has evolved over time. So just checking for his official position. Does he support any limits on abortion right now? Peter, the president has spoken, has talked about his position many times. He supports the right of a woman to make choices about her own body with her doctor. But I know that one of the Democrats that he endorsed and uh, who won their primary this week, Tim Ryan, uh, said yesterday that he does not support any limits on abortion. Is that where the president's thinking is now? The president has stated his view many times. So does the president support abortion up until the, mi the moment of birth? The president has spoken about this many times, Peter, and I would refer you to his own comments about abortion and a woman's right to choose and make decisions about her body with her doctor, which is what any of those women would do. Oh, okay, a little bit of a lecture. But she's not the only Democrat who dodged the question. Should women be allowed to choose abortion up until the moment of birth? <laughs> Do you think that women should be allowed to choose abortion up until the moment of birth? Do you think that uh, women should be allowed to choose abortion up until the moment of birth? Uh, would, do you think that women should be allowed to choose uh, abortion up until the moment of birth? Yeah. Wow, that was just... Uh... Dodging, Shannon, that was the old, I'm sorry, are your lips moving? Are your lips moving? <laughs> I don't have time for this discussion right now. Like, it's kind of an important issue. Um, I went back and pulled the transcript of when I had Senator Ben Cardin on Fox News Sunday a few weeks ago on this as well, because it was really pressing him. I think it's fair for the Republican candidates to say, go ask the Dems where they are on this. It's kind of smart for them to take the heat off of their infighting. Is it six weeks? Is it 15 weeks? Go ask them if they're about 40 weeks. So right. I asked Senator Cardin, what about states where it's actually legal until the due date, is that something Democrats support? He said, we support the right of women to make their own decisions. I pressed him, is there a cutoff point for you before that point up to birth? No, to me, it's a reproductive health care decision and up to women to make that decision. That's a no. There's no cutoff point before the 40 weeks. So if you're going to have a conversation, people have to be realistic. There are states where that is legal. Have the conversation from there. Yeah, and I wonder, you know, if 70%, if, if what Mike Pence said on the stage is true, and, and many of the other candidates said it too, if 7 out of 10 women, Shannon, say that they would be in favor of a 15-week ban on abortion, how many are saying that, you know, 100% of your term, we're right there with you with an abortion? It's got to be a really small number, and um, their estimates, maybe 8 to 10 percent of the electorate out there would actually be for that. But most people, when you talk them through, and if they've had a child and carried that baby, the thought of being 40 weeks pregnant and saying, I've changed my mind or I don't want to move forward with this, I think for the vast majority of Americans, that's just repulsive. Emily. What I thought was fascinating is the Washington Post contributing columnist Ramesh Panuro that fact-checked not only Democrats, but also the Washington Post prior fact-checking. And he pointed out the verbal sleights of hand by the Democrats that one that as one that allow politicians to give two messages to two audiences. So essentially they're having their cake and they're eating it too. The general public thinks the candidates are taking a moderate stance compatible with tighter restrictions on abortion in more advanced stages of pregnancy. But activists in favor of liberal abortion laws understand they'll oppose any restrictions. That's exactly what we saw right there when pressed Democrats and Democrat law, um, elected lawmakers refused to actually articulate a position. He pointed out John Fetterman, for example, who at one point said, oh, I don't support any limits whatsoever on abortion, but then in a, in a debate said, yes, I support Roe v. Wade. And he also sort of drew out the delineation about many Democrats who say, well, late-term abortions are necessary legally because it preserves oftentimes the life the fetus that that they are that are most the majority of the time the life or, of the mother yes the life of the mother. it definitely doesn't preserve yes, the life sorry of the sorry fetus. the life of the mother and he pointed out that there's actually no scientific evidence that the majority of them are such 
in contrary to Washington Post that fact checked saying that that yet surprised that provided no evidence for that so he's essentially saying don't rely on the media the left wing media to say oh no 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 this is exactly what democrats mean and yes this is true because they too are citing no evidence and are not being honest well, well and you make such a good point in that roe v wade and you know uh, up to birth those are two different things so if they're saying they support one those are not the same things so you make a great point there. exactly well and i i love emily that we still want to stay optimistic that the liberal media are going to actually pay attention to the fact checkers but from what you laid out the facts are there and they'll just ignore them jason uh democrats give us a number uh, wh what is joe biden's position what is kamala harris's position do you think he knows <laughs> i don't think he knows much about anything uh but i give us a number i think that's a fair question republicans have generally said 15 weeks ron DeSantis took it down to six weeks but on a national ban i do think there needs to be some national limit Kaylee. Yeah, you know, Jen Psaki, you say no one supports abortion until birth. That is false. That is absolutely false. And if it were not false, then when you were asked, as my former colleague in the White House with the brain of an encyclopedia, Chad Gilmartin immediately said, go back to May 5th, 2022, when you were asked this at the podium. We played those remarks. If no Democrat believes that, why didn't you say that when you were in a place to give an official opinion on the part of the White House, not just say it on Twitter when you're an MSNBC pundit? The facts are... As Shannon laid out, she illustrated that conversation with Senator Ben Cardin. He was not alone. 46 Democrats voted to move forward the Women's Health Protection Act, which gives an exception that you can have abortion at any point in pregnancy if a doctor makes a good faith judgment it is in the interest of the health of the mother. Health is very broad. That can include mental health. So that is absolutely false. And to your point, name a line. You know, but Vice President Mike Pence, how smart of him last night to reorient the discussion around pain. When does the baby feel pain? Uh, Dr. Ben Carson told me 15 weeks or earlier. So mm -hmm. when does a baby feel pain? If you're for abortion, you should be able to answer that question and you should be able to name a week cutoff. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.